Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to understand test statistics, difference between Z and T test, and the role of critical value in accepting the null hypothesis. Test statistics is the standardized difference between the estimated values of the parameter being tested calculated from the sample and the hypothesis value in order to establish the evidence in support of the null hypothesis. Test statistics is the standardized value used for calculating the p-value in support of null hypothesis. The test statistics that we are mostly going to use here are z and t. Before we commence test of hypothesis, we have a choice to make between the normal distribution and the t distributions. Z test is used when population standard deviation is known and the population is normal. Population standard deviation is known and the sample size is at least means minimum 30. Note that the population need to be normal. The formula for calculating Z is shown as Z statistics or you can also call it as Z calculated is equal to X bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by root n where this x bar starts for this x bar start for sample mean and we have also population mean hypothesis value of population mean and population standard deviations and sample size that means in order to run this z statistics what we need we need all these these four values means mu we need the mu then we need the sample mean then we need sigma that is called population standard deviations and uh, we also need the number of sample sites. Okay. So T statistics is used when population is normal and population standard deviation is known, it is not known. Okay. Then what is given here, here is given that is a sample standard deviation is normally it is given here. Okay. The sample standard deviation S is also known. Test statistics is shown as t equal to x bar minus mu divided by sample standard deviations divided by root n, where this x bar stands for sample mean and mu stands for hypothesis value of the population mean, then s for sample standard deviations, then n for uh, sample size, then degree of freedom also we know we need so degree of freedom equal to n minus 1 what does it mean n minus 1 1 n minus mean means n is the number of sample minus 1 suppose the sample size is 40 so what is the degree of freedom here the degree of freedom will be 39 this degree of freedom is required to find out the critical value because we have to refer to the t table okay so we must remember this this is the uh, difference between z and uh, t then we must understand the role of critical value in accepting the null hypothesis or rejecting the null hypothesis this critical value normally what it does it uh, it divides the whole distribution it can be t it can be z distribution into two region okay you can see this is one region and this this is different regions okay so this is called left tail test. Why this is called left tail test? Because the rejection will take place in one side. That is the left tail test. There are two different kinds of test. One is one tail test. Another is two tail test. In case of a one tail test, that is one directional. That means rejection will take place at the left side. You, you can see this is the left side. So this is the rejection area. This is the rejection area. When we calculate the test statistics or uh, we calculate the that, that um, z value or t value if that falls in this area that means we are going to reject the null hypothesis if it falls in this area this is called acceptance area okay this is the acceptance area if this falls here or anywhere between in between okay so that means we are going to accept null hypothesis you can see it is written it is given symbolically this is blue color stands for rejection region and this white color stands for this okay similarly in case of 
a right tail test okay, we are going to reject it on the right side of the tail this is the tail tail means this is the distribution it can be z distribution it can be t distribution so we are going to reject so rejection when rejection takes place at the left side we call it a left tail test when rejection takes place in the right side we call it the right tail test then we have also two tail test that means suppose take for example our rejection region total we are dividing into two parts rejection and acceptance so suppose take for example it is 5% rejection area okay we are taking that the alpha or level of significance uh, significant level is 5% means or you can call it 0.05 0.05 see this is 0.5% this this is going to be 95% 95% acceptance region okay 95% acceptance region similarly in this case this is also 95% this is 5% this can be we can call it as 5% okay similarly in this case in case of two tail test this alpha value that is called level of significance okay this is divided 5% is divided into this has been divided into two sides okay like this is alpha by 2 this will be in case of 0.05% this will be like 0 0.025 okay so this is the, so we have to see the critical value what is the critical value this is the critical value if test statistics fall between in this region that means we are going to accept a zero accept a zero else you reject it this is the rejection region this is the rejection region okay this is how we can that uh, calculate uh, uh, that is test statistics and we have to find out whether the test statistics falls in the uh, acceptance region or rejection region in order to accept or reject null hypothesis. That's for the lesson. See you in the next one.